Hello, and today we're going to be talking about the European witch trials. Um, yeah, my name's Kevin Bradley. And I'm Michaela Phelps. Let's get started. Okay. So, the first thing that we're going to talk about today is where the witch trials originally began. Um, so, where was the origin of witches and witch trials? The start of the witch trials is in Germany. It quickly spread to England and other countries because of a religion being so strict. So, why did people actually believe in witches? Back in the early 1500s, women were seen to be more likely to be tempted by the devil, so mainly women were targeted as witches, especially slaves and poor women. What did witches look like? So, surely they didn't look like the witches from Scooby-Doo, the hex girls, or like you know, hocus pocus. So many people now believe witches look ugly and obvious that they're witches. But however, back in the very olden days, they did not. Exactly. Witches in Europe during the 1500s and during the Salem witch trials did not look like witches at all. They just looked like an average woman. Or Let's go even farther. The Bible mentions witches in the Old Testament. So, he sacrificed his children in the fire in the valley of Ben Hinman, practiced divination and witchcraft, saw omens, and consulted mediums and spiritists. He did much evil in the eyes of the Lord, arousing his anger. Which is Second Chronicles 3 3 6. People were so religious, they followed the Bible by every word it contained. Many Protestants, Catholics, and people of other denominations in Europe were very strict Christians. What the Bible said, they followed. So, in earlier, people started following the Bible's every word. So here's a brief description um, of the beginning of the witch trials and sort of the timeline. So in 1252, Pope Innocent IV allows inquisitors to torture suspected heretics or witches. Um, in 1486, the Malleus Maleficarum was published. And so this book really told people about witches and their evilness and that they were everywhere. So. This really made people think that witches were just like their next door neighbors. They didn't know who a witch was. They just knew that they were everywhere. So then in 1560 to around 1800, many people or witches were hunted and killed all over Europe. Many of the witches who were killed during the trials occurred in Germany. And this was the place where the Malleus Maleficarum was first published. Many people read this book and became very wary of the people or witches around them. That's right. Many of the witch trials in Europe occurred in Germany, but they quickly spread all over Europe and especially to England. When settlers sailed to America, they brought their religion and beliefs with them. So, since the group was moving to a foreign land, like the pilgrims, they were moving to America. So they thought it would be, there would be like so much danger in the new land because it was uncharted territory. Um, so they were really, just really worried. The settlers wanted to get away from their homeland and religious persecution, but they still carried their beliefs with them and they still believed in witches. So this brings us to the Salem witch trials in the new colonies and in America. So in Salem, Massachusetts, religion was so strict and so important among the colonies, like it was in England. After a slave, Tichibo started talking about magic to little girls. They believed she was a witch and reported her. This was the start of the Salem witch trial. So after the witch trial of Tichiba, the little girls of Salem, Massachusetts started to accuse other women of being witches. So they're usually poor women, um, until they started accusing rich women and no one really, you know, believed them anymore because only the poor women were sought to be witches and rich women were more higher up. They thought they can't be witches. One interesting fact about the Salem trials is that the same little girls accusing women claimed that a specter had followed them around town. What came to be known as special evidence is the belief that a witch had sent a ghost or a specter to follow around a victim and torture them. So since no one can prove that an actual specter had been following the little girls around, people had no choice but to execute them and, you know, think that they were a witch. Little one knew. Oh no! A specter! <laughs>
She long ago in Europe and in the American colonies, witches were a very prominent aspect of society and religion. So today the idea of witches are only used during like Halloween or in movies. So witches don't really play a big role in society as they used to and as of always religion. Although some people may practice Wicca or watch movies about witches, witches and warlocks are not a threat to society anymore. Or so we think. <laughs> all in all, we don't have to worry about um, specters following us around or witches like putting curses on us or warlocks like casting spells and whatnot. But witches were still real, I guess you could say. Back in a very long time ago. But that's in the past now. Um, yeah. Well, that's it for today's video. Okay. Bye! Bye. Hit or miss, I guess they